Hi, my name is Diana Gaitini. I'm from Ramba Medical Center and the Faculty of Medicine Technion, Haifa, Israel. And my lecture will be on ultrasound of the salivary glands. These are the learning points, indications for ultrasound examination, ultrasound technique, normal anatomy, inflammation, tumors, miscellaneous, and new technologies. The indications for ultrasound of the salivary glands are the lump in the gland or the neck, pain, mouth dryness, an abnormality on previous X-rays, CT or cialogram, and use it for guidance of injection, aspiration or biopsy. The technique of the examination, we use a high frequency 5 to 12 MHz wideband linear array transducer. For the parotid gland, the planes are axial, placing the probe inferior to the ear, and coronal, placing it anterior to the ear. For the submandibular gland, we perform sagittal and coronal planes while the probe is in the submandibular position. And for the sublingual glands, the coronal plane is used while the probe is in the submental position. This we have the normal anatomy of the three main glands, parotid gland, the submandibular gland, and anteriorly to it, the sublingual glands.